The Washington Center serves students who are physically and mentally challenged. They have significant cognitive disabilities paired with physical disabilities. This is the only school like this in South Carolina. When the parents come in and they bring their children, they almost just exhale because they have finally found a place that their child fits. I love that the teachers take the time to really get to know your child individually, that they will help develop their strengths because they gotten to know what those strengths are going to be. They also know what their weaknesses are going to be and they're going to help you overcome some of those. So like I said, each child is so different here that the teachers spend an, a crazy amount of time getting to understand and figure out my kid and figure out what works for him. The teachers here um, are who inspired me to go into teaching. When I saw the love that they had given to my son and all of the, the many ways um, that they accommodated his needs and helped him to learn even though he was paraplegic, even though he had spina bifida, even though he was in a wheelchair. He learned to move throughout the halls without his wheelchair but in a mobile prone stander. I mean there, there are so many pieces of equipment here that are just so expensive that my family never could have afforded. But here at Washington Center, he was able to get into a device that allowed him to stand upright and move throughout the school. We all have kids that will knock on our door asking for donations or doing a fundraiser, selling something for their school, helping to raise money. And our kids can't do that. Um, to do a fundraiser means our parents are just doing more work than they're already doing because they're the ones that have to go around and sell things to their friends and that kind of thing. So fundraising is much different for kids in a school like this than in a typical school. Um, our kids don't have the ability to speak for themselves and ask for the things that they need. Therefore it's important for us to be able to as parents and educators and um, community members be able to know what Washington Center is about. And unless you have a child that comes here, you may not have reason to come to Washington Center. So um, it's important that we get all of our, our needs um, out to the community and allow people to know who we are and what we do and um, generate support. For much of our equipment, we rely on donations. And that is what we get when we purchase Promethean boards and the bulbs for those Promethean boards, augmentative communication devices for the children to be able to speak, prone standards and many um, motion or um, adaptive move equipment for our children. With the technology and with the different equipment that's very specialized, we can help a child realize that they can control their environment, that they can make a choice, that they have a voice, even if it's a computer generated voice, to say what they want to say. And unfortunately it's not something that can easily be picked up. Um, when you run to Walmart. It's something that we have to go through specialized companies and so it has a premium price. But I have seen that if we have options to try, it's just, it makes a world of a difference in these children's lives. They have a higher quality of life. It costs a lot of money to educate children like this. It's not about simple things like we need a lot of pencils so the children can hold pencils. We need special equipment to put into little hands that don't work well to help them learn how to hold a pencil. It's, it's, it's a lot more expensive than regular education. And every single one of these kids is worth it. You never know when someone in your family will be affected by this that they will have a special needs child and kind of be at their wits end as far as financially how to help educate them. So we need, we need people that are burdened for the disabled community and starting with small children, helping them to develop um, whatever skills they're going to be able to develop by giving them the equipment they need to do that.